All right, got another NU battle here versus Dan from Smogan. His name's Serpo on Smogan. He's leading off with his knife via Rapidash, shiny Rapidash. I'm going to go for the sleep power with my balls, the jump fluff, because my balls is extremely fast. I'm going to be faster than that Rapidash. I U-turn, hit and run, smack him in the face and get the fuck out of there. Balls comes back to me. I go into Beefcoon, my fucking favorite Pokemon ever. Beefcoon is the fucking shit. Beefcoon's just going to chill in while he's going to sleep. And I'm going to go for the curse. I'm surprised he didn't switch out here. Circle's, uh, he's relatively new like me, but he's, he's a good player overall. He's going to get his lefties recovery as I go for the curse. And he goes for the hypnosis and puts me to sleep. So I was pretty fucking pissed that that shit happened. So I'm, now I'm sleeping and he's awake. Um, I didn't know what he was going to go for here, but he goes for the Megahorn and misses. I'm sleeping still. He goes for another Megahorn and hits that time. That's going to do a pretty good amount, but I got the curse up, so it's not going to do that much. It does, like, a good amount, I guess. Goes for another Megahorn and he keeps going down, and I'm like, what the fuck, and I'm dead. So, fucking critical hit. He called that critical hit, actually. He called two critical hits in this match. I was pretty surprised. So I got to bullshit getting the Intimidate off, because I know he's a physical attacking Rapidash. And he goes for the fucking will lift so he's a double status... Rapid Ash, so I'm pretty much screwed. My bullshit's gonna get burned a lot. And gr a burned Gramble is not gonna do fucking shit, this Rapid Ash. So he goes for the Flare Blitz. Continue with his recoil. I go for my second bulk up just to get my attack back up to normal levels. And I have plus two defensive and I have average attack right now, but plus zero attack. I get my lefties recovery, get hurt by my burn, so I'm pretty much getting crippled by this burn. He goes for the Mega Horn, I know I can live it because I got the Intimidate off, didn't do shit. I go for the Earthquake, and I know that can take it out, because Gramble is a fucking massive attacker. I'm a pretty bulky Gramble. It's slow as shit, though. I get the super effective damage and knock that fucking Rapid Ash out after it, it pretty much fucked up my Beef Coon and my bullshit. He goes, I'm spiking the fucking Sand Slash. He goes for the Earthquake. I know I can live that, because I got the bulk up up, and I go for the Return, which still doesn't do shit, because I'm burned, and Sand Slash has amazing, amazing defenses. He gets his lefties recover, uh, recovery, I get mine. I get burned again, I live that with 12 HP. He went for the rapid spin, thinking he would kill me, but I live it with 2 HP, so I was laughing my ass off during this battle. We were voice chatting, he was pretty much face palming. He gets his lefties recovery, I get my lefties recovery, but I get killed on my burn, so it's alright. You got the kill on it was spiking, but I was, I was lolling at that point. So I go into Rocky, go for the Ice Punch, and it doesn't fucking kill it. My fucking Ice Punch did not kill this Sand Slash. He misclicks and goes for the Stone Edge, and that doesn't do shit. He gets his lefty's recovery. I don't want to overpredict, so I go straight for the Ice Punch, and he stays in, and I kill him off with that Ice Punch. So he goes up to Cucumber, the shiny Espeon, and he's going to go for the Psychic, but I go for the Sucker Punch, overpredicting him. And he was pretty much thinking he was going to sweep my team with his Espeon, but I won a KO with Sucker Punch, so I was laughing too at that. It was a pretty funny battle. I mean, I've, my, I just threw this team together last second. He goes for the Earthquake with Crunch. That's obviously going to kill me because it's a fucking Sharpedo. And I have terrible defense on this Hitmonchan. So Rocky goes down. I bring out Balls pretty much just a U-turn out. He goes into I Can Fly the Mantine. And this is where the stalling pretty much begins. I U-turn out into my Cradilly, who I haven't used in any of my Wi-Fi battles, but he's been my favorite wall for a while now, other than Muck, of course. He goes for the Hidden Power. I don't know what Hidden Power it was because it didn't do shit. I go for the Toxic, pretty much just because I have nothing to kill this Mantine. I have nothing that can deal a shitload of damage to this Mantine. And now that he's poisoned, I know he can't do shit to me. I'm going to just go for the t for the Curses to set up uh, with my Cradilly. He goes for the Surf. That still doesn't do shit because Cradilly is my fucking... One of my better special defense walls. So I have all my boosts and stuff. And he's pretty much just getting his lefties recovery, getting hit by Poison pretty much just stalling out. I had a 30 minute match before I had this battle, but I couldn't upload it because it was too long for my camera to record. I ran out of battery. Was, so I was pretty pissed off about that. So I'm still cursing. And he's pretty much just still sitting here trying to deal as much damage as he can. He's still getting hurt by his toxic. It's just his counter's going up. It's getting more and more effective on him. He goes for the ice beam, which I don't know why he didn't go for that in the beginning. So pretty much... My friends texted me about my Grande meal that's coming, which is fucking fantastic, because Taco Bell is number one for all you faggots who love Taco Bell out there. He's getting hurt by his poison still. He lives that with, like, 2 HP, and I get my lefties recovery, and I go for the recover after he goes for this hidden power. I don't know why he went for the hidden power instead of the ice beam. I still would have lived the ice beam, but he would have been able to do a shitload more. I go for the recover, get pretty much all my health back. He's going to die after these lefties recovery from the poison. 
So that was just fucking awesome because Cordelia is not going to be killed by anything on this team. I'm getting my lefties recovery pretty much getting up to full health, essentially. He brings out a Grovile, which I haven't seen before in an NU match. This kid uses really original movesets. If you ever face this kid, be careful. He might bring out something original and take you out with it. He goes for the Leaf Storm. It does a fucking shitload, which I was really surprised about. And he's pretty much... I poison him, trying to just make sure that he can't sweep my old team with this thing. I live another Leaf Storm with 50 HP and go for another Recover, because he's getting the special attack drops. And I'm pretty much just stalling out with Cordelia. Cordelia's being the fucking monster that he is. He's getting hurt by his poison. I have the plus two defensive shit, and he's going to switch the fuck out of there and go into crunch. I predict the switch and go for the seed bomb, which is fucking pro on my part. And I'm going to take out that Sharpedo in one shot, because Sharpedo is the frailest motherfucker I have ever seen. So crunch is going to go down, and Cordelia's just sitting here looking like a fucking beast. Uton's going to come back out. He goes for another Leaf Storm. He called this critical hit, too, which was fucking unbelievable, that he called another critical hit. So he takes out my Cordelia and pretty much stops my sweep, which was kind of sad because Cordelia, I, I cried a little bit after Cordelia went out because Cordelia was just going to sweep and run show. So Balls comes in. I know I'm going to outspeed. I go for the U-turn and kill this Uton. So that thing's not going to pose any more threats to my team because Balls is sweet-ass lead. So I win. Good game, Dan. We'll probably have another rematch, I'm guessing. So, yeah, that was an overall great match. I mean, I had a good-ass team going on there. So good game. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you later.